Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Vagabond. This is a sandbox, open world, old school RPG with a procedurally generated world that's just released in early access today. So let's uh, create a new world. I did just randomly, because random, um, start a new world just to get used to the controls and stuff. I played for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Nothing too serious. So let's call our new world Let's Play. So that's the random seed. I don't know if the random seed is based off this. Like, if you put Let's Play in, would you get the same random seed? Maybe. Or the shot, if you wanted to play the same world as me. All right, so create a character. Um, body. We are a big, burly male. Um, that's about my skin color. Nose, ears, hair. I mean, these things don't really matter. Ooh, let's go with the spiky hair, though. And, like, the clothes and the hair, because I'm pretty sure... It's just going to get covered with uh, with gear anyway, right? We'll go no facial hair. Sure, clothes. Yeah, the clothes really don't matter. And we will call ourselves a chair. Let's jump in. See what we can do. All right, so we're in the middle of nowhere. We wake up with no gear or anything. We wake up in the middle of nowhere with no memories or possessions, except for a sealed letter addressed to Denadia, wizard in the village of the grass town. You should find this mage and deliver the letter to her. Perhaps she can help you or shed some light on what happened. Okay, so this sign will tell me where to go, I think. Grasstown, the jungle city of Ben... Whoa, that's... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> the dark city hard tundra. Ooh, that does sound dark. Where did the letter say I needed to go again? I forget already. The grass town. All right, so there's a town like right here. You can see it on the edge. But this is not where I'm supposed to go. The jungle city. All right, well, we'll come back to that because we have no gear or anything right now. So I'd rather go to the grass town and get this quest going because we get gear. Oh, I think that's it right there, probably. Grab a mushroom, though. I don't think you can punch trees. Well, you can. You can. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't need an axe, but you can. What about this sunflower? No. All right, so we're looking for Denadria. House for sale. Um, we got the Lost Hood. That's like a, a tailor shop. Mary's house. Ren Flynn's house. There's Denadia's house. It's locked. So Denadia must be at work. Does this give me a hint as to what Denadia's job may be? A wizard. Okay, so Denadia's going to be a wizard. So where would she be working? Probably not the forge. Probably not the... Well, the hiding elixir. Maybe. Possibly. And I got to stop hitting left click because left click you swing. So if I accidentally hit left click, like there's Denadia, if I hit left click, I'd be punching her. You got to remember it's space bar or right click to interact. What? Background. I am Denadia. I live here in the grass town and I'm a mage at the hiding elixir. Sacred Tavern sells the best stew in the area. They grow their own vegetables. Maybe you should talk to Brow to know more about farming. You try to make your own garden. You make a carrier out of it. A carrier or a career? <laughs> Rumors. If you're looking to settle here, here's a house for sale. I saw it. Alchemy. Two tablespoons of snake venom, a bat wing, and a zest of ectoplasm. It's ready. Should I be writing this down? Is this an actual recipe? You also want to learn the mysteries of alchemy. Alchemy is above all practical art. But it's based on experimentation. So try mixing ingredients with effects in common. You'll get a potion with these effects. Okay. Um, all right. So let's go give... This sealed letter. There we go. That's probably what we need to do. You look in bad shape, my friend. Thank you for finding the courage to deliver this letter to me, despite the hardships you must have faced. Hmm, the letter is coded. It will take some time to decipher it. Take these gold coins as compensation for your troubles. Go see Ed Wilfin, the blacksmith. He can provide you with some pieces of equipment. Good. Also, take these fruits. When you are completely full, you will recover some vitality. Come back to me afterward. Maybe the letter contains information about yourself. We got to go see Ed Wilfin. All right. And let's... Uh... No, I don't think I need to equip... All right, so Ed Wilfin in here, maybe? Bloody Hammer, that sounds like a blacksmith's place. There's Ed Wilfin. Yes. Um... Trade? I have 200 gold coins. So 50 for a pickaxe. 75 for a tin shovel, 150 for a bronze shovel. Got a wood bow, he's got a tin spear. Copper dagger, bronze dagger. 
Daggers do more damage, but obviously... Okay, wait. So there's value and there's price. So I'm assuming... I've been looking at value and I probably should be looking at price. Ooh, he's got some cheaper tools as well. And some armor. Hmm, what do I want to buy? Does he have any quests for me as well? Shopping? Mining? Sound like there might be quests. Background. I'm Ed Wilpin. I live in the grass town and work at the Bloody Hammer. I don't have time for small tasks. Talks. I'm really busy and you should be too. Go and talk to Lottie. The carpenter of the village maybe has a job to offer you. Mining. You'll be needing a pickaxe in order to extract ores from veins. Oh, and veins can be better to be found in mines. Are you brave enough to go down and work in the mine? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> we will see. If I were you, I'd buy the best axe in store to chop the biggest trees. I can train yet, probably. Ooh, you can learn all these different recipes. Copper, oh, cop, cost zero to make a copper ingot. Okay, and a tin ingot. Okay, that one we need a cost, and we need a smithing level, which we don't have. Ooh, we can, we could do this, but it costs 50, but we, yeah. Mm, no, I think I should buy some, some gear. So let's buy, buy the cheap axe and cheap pickaxe. It's 114. Leaves me with $86. I could buy this crappy dagger. Let's do that. Now I'm broke. <laughs> but I've got some tools. I've got some tools. All right, so put this in the one slot, two slot, and three slot. And let's equip food on our bar. We got some coconut. So the top bar is like is our health. The bottom bar is our hunger. So when we're at 100, 100 of hunger, we slowly gain health, regain health. Obviously, we can't gain it when we're we're already full. All right. So let's go talk to um um I forget her name. <laughs> See if she's deciphered that letter, Denadia. What? Um, mysterious letter. Ah, oh, you look much better now. Unfortunately, the letter says nothing about your past. Even worse, this missive warns the Mage Guild that a great peril is approaching. The most troubling part is the letter is stamped with the magical seal of Kriana, the legendary founder of our guild, the most powerful mage this land has ever known. He warns us that a powerful demon she had once imprisoned is about to be released. Oh, that doesn't sound good. She asks us to strengthen the magical defenses to hold it back. She invites me to trust you. According to her, you have the necessary courage and pure heart. Do you feel up to the task? I don't know, man. I just woke up and I got crap gear. But sure. Strengthen the magical defenses that hold... Ooh. Got the mirror? <laughs> Four crystals, one for each magical element, must be collected from the hermits who have guarded and protected them since his imprisonment. Then you will have to bring them to the temples of the ancient gods to recharge them. Finally, you must bring the charged crystals to... At Queeman, the fortress that holds Ugufamir and prevent his, this demonic being from wreaking havoc on our lands. I entrust you with the letter bearing the seal of Kiriana, which will help you convince the Hermits to trust you. We are counting on you. Well then. Um, <laughs> maybe we go talk to Brawl. No, um, who had quests? I forget who had quests. The Carpenter. Carp Ooh. So this red cog means I'd be stealing this. I don't want to steal anything. Carpenter. Looking for the carpenter sign. Yep. This smell this smelly nail is probably carpenter. Also, I you can zoom in and out. It's usually bound to the plus and minus button. I rebound it to like my some of my mouse buttons. Um just FYI, if you see me zooming in and out, that's how I'm doing it. Lottie, may I help you? Jobs. Are you looking for a job? I heard Ed Wilfin sells some great tools. You can start mining ores, chopping trees. Our land has a lot to offer. Um, my dear pickaxe. I was, peace, peace, ah, I was peacefully mining in Be Beezing's cave when a bee attacked me. I left with no further ado. In my haste, I forgot my pickaxe there. Ed Wilfin crafted the for me. It is the best pickaxe I've ever seen. Would you mind bringing it back to me? Sure. Okay, and a round table. I don't have enough wood to make the round table a customer ordered. If you chop me something and bring it back to me, I'll let you have the axe. Ah, I wish I would have got done this before I bought that axe. <laughs> All right, so Beezing's Cave. If you head west. All right, so let's head west and find that cave. We'll worry about that first. 
I'm not going to... So we have two axes. So this one is one to three damage. This one is two to two. I'm not sure which one's better. One to three or two to two, <laughs> right? Um, I guess this one's technically worth more. So once we finish the quest, we can sell that one and keep our tin axe. Get a little extra cash. Can we harvest these mushrooms? Doesn't look like it. Are they... Uh, uh, I say they're mushrooms. I'm not, I'm not even sure they're mushrooms. Yeah, let's bring out the map. So yes, yeah, so the map is procedurally generated every game, I think. Um, and you can click local to see the map around you. Should I go to the Lost Hood and see if they... Or the tavern here and see if they have quests? Yeah, let's do that. I don't see how getting more quests would be a bad thing. May I help you? My name is Luke and I live here in Grasstown. Everyone has to eat. If you learn how to cook decent food from Browth the Innkeeper, I'm sure you'll find customers without difficulty. It seemed really nice. Wouldn't it be great if we were neighbors? Seems like that's all they say when you ask for rumors. Alright, so there's Browth. No, that's not Browth. That's name. No, that's a stove. <laughs> there's not... <laughs> So where's Browth? I thought they said Browth was the innkeeper. Farming. Don't expect to grow vegetables as good as mine, but here are the steps you need to follow to start your garden. First, you must prepare the soil with a shovel, then plant the seed and wait till the crops mature. Well, I don't have any seeds yet. If you want to learn how to cook meals as good as mine, no matter the recipe, the important thing is to choose ingredients that combine well together. Makes sense. So we could trade, we could buy some liquor, bottle of wine, bottle of brandy, we can buy some food. We can sell. What do we have that we can sell? Not much. I got a mushroom. <laughs> I got one mushroom I could sell. So we're just not going to sell just yet. All right. So time of day. It's getting to be nighttime. It's uh, 7 or 1940. It's almost 8 o'clock. So let's go see if we can find this cave where hopefully we don't die. I'm just going to eat some coconut here. I should probably wait till I need to heal. Now let's let's try to keep our food bar relatively full. All right, so it says to go west. Right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a bandit. Do I want to fight bandits? Oh, well, I want to find that cave. Or maybe I should just do Beezing's cave. Does it show it on the map? If I go local, there's the bandit camp right there's unknown. That's probably it, right? I would say. I don't think I'm ready to fight bandits yet. I'd like to at least get like a piece of armor or something. Although while I'm out here, I should probably get at least 11 logs, right, for that quest. So that was two logs. And that was a log. Two logs. Looks like it's two every time. And I can probably sell the logs too, right? If I get more than I need. Nope, not two every time because that one was only one. But yeah, it'd be good to at least have the 11 for the quest. And gather some mushrooms because I believe I can eat the mushrooms too, right? 10 energy. How much does this give? 10. So yes, yeah, the mushrooms are the same as what I have. That's good. Oh, apparently I didn't pick up this log after I chopped down that tree. And can I clear the stumps? What about with a pickaxe? It appears I cannot clear the stumps. So I don't know if that means I'm doing a bad thing cutting down these trees. What's this? Looks like a carrot. Yeah, okay. Well, it's because you know why it looked like a carrot? Because it was a carrot. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It was a carrot. Ooh, there's some, some bats over there. All right. We found Beezing's Cave. All right, so this is where I'm going to be zooming in. I find the combat, it's much easier to hit, actually hit. Swing your weapon at the right time if you're can if you zoomed in. All right, well, oh, these guys are pretty squishy. So this should be pretty easy. My melee weapon skill went up. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to gather some of this stuff. Ooh, do I, is there a weight limit on how much I can carry? Gold doesn't look like it. Got copper ore, we got some tin ore. Looks like some coal, some stone. Might as well harvest it all, right? So it looks like you get one per node. Yeah, so that's just stone. Well, is this gold? Probably copper, right? Yeah, it's copper. That's good though. I mean, 
I'll be able to craft my own stuff if I buy the recipe and stuff. Although this looks different. Is that gold? No, it's copper as well. Just different shape, right? Oh, this is, it is gold. Look at that, gold. It says straight at the top. I was like, this is taking a lot longer to, <laughs> to mine. And that's why, because it's gold. Now, is gold worth more? 50, yep. Yep, 10 times as much. All right, let's zoom back out. Okay, there's some more bees down here. Switch back to our knife. Oh, got some mushrooms. They provide light, though. Should I leave them? Oh, ah, ah, facing the wrong way. Got hit, got stung. All right, so let's eat. Okay, so whenever you're whenever you're not hungry, oh, an earth bee. So yeah, they can be like elementally infused, which gives them see mode of earth. That's because it was an earth bee. Cave mushrooms are also inedible, I assume. Yes, also ten energy. I keep hitting the wrong button to zoom out. I forget what am I doing in here again. I'm looking for something, right? Oh, pickaxe. Steel pickaxe. So assuming there's going to be a chest or something at some point. The one cave I went into before when I was checking stuff out there was a chest. Okay, I don't really want to go north because that's where I came in. Right, so let's go down. Oh, there's a chest right there. Look at that. All right, so let's eat again. Make sure that health regen is coming in, right? I mean, we're... Ooh, what's this? Uh, oh, that's Bezang. That's... Oh, he's dead, whatever it was. But that was the boss. That was the big boss. Not much of a big boss, but that's fine. <laughs> Considering this is like the first, you know, cave I went into. Feeling good. All right, what do we got in here? We got the linen sleeveless shirt of Breeze Life. Okay, so five defense plus some air defense. Um, reflect damage, but 0%. So basically no reflect damage and a little bit of shield. We'll take that, put that on. Oh, we might as well take our frayed sleeveless shirt and a mode of air. All right, and we did get the pickaxe. Oh, wow, silver pickaxe of rain. Actually, it looks cool, but it doesn't really do a lot of damage. So that's an easy decision to uh, actually return that. <laughs> I'm not going to keep it. And that looks like about it for the cave. Couple more monsters to kill up here. I guess I'm doing all right. I guess I don't need to zoom in for the combat. I was first learning, I found it easier, but now that I have a little bit of a feel for it. Is there anything mineable up here? Like, I don't know, like, is stone actually valuable, or should I just be doing, like, ores? Nice to get a better weapon, too. What do these bee stingers sell for, I wonder? Because I've got a lot of them. So I wonder, too, if I leave the cave and come back. Oh, I'm, ooh, I'm taking damage. Oh, I took a lot of damage there. That was not good. Will the bees be back? Will the ore be back? Like I don't, I don't know. That's that's more, more than I know right now. All right, so we got some more copper. Let's grab that. I'm gonna have to eat again soon. Try to get this health up. I think. I mean, eventually I can get like health potions and stuff. I just don't have any yet. There's another bee. I'd be okay with not fighting again for a while. <laughs> Let my health build back up a bit. A little more tin. So we got copper and tin. So we should be able to probably turn that into bronze, I gotta think. He's coming. Ah! Wow, this bee hit hard. Yeah, you gotta be... As long as you're aware they're there and you get the first hit in, they're not too bad, but... If you let them hit you, they, I mean, they sting, <laughs> right? They have a sting, for sure. All right, what time of day is it? Four in the morning. By the time I get out of here and get back, hopefully it'll be morning. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's steel pickaxe? Four to four damage. Well, that's more than two to two, last I checked. So let's, uh, wait. No, that's not, yeah, that's not the one I was thinking. Is that the one for the quest? But this is the one for the quest. I think, well, maybe not. 
Maybe the steel one is the one for the quest. Doesn't really say. It just says it's a really good pickaxe, doesn't it? Bring the steel pickaxe. It is the steel pickaxe. So this silver pickaxe that I found, this is loot. One to two damage plus one to one water damage. So it does zero to one earth damage. So it does two to four damage in theory. Um, let's just hit this stone and see how much damage it does. One, two, two. No, it didn't tell us much. <laughs> That's within the range. No, it looks like it just does the one to two. Like, it doesn't look like we're getting the elemental. Yeah, you'd think it would have it went over two at least once. I think the two to two pickaxe is better. Ooh, silver. Yeah, we never did over two damage, so let's switch back. And we can sell this one, right? Because it's valued at like 50-something. So we can probably sell it. I don't think you can actually get the value number. Like, I think I could get probably 40 for it. Something like that. I think. I hope. I don't know. I'm no uh, Do I want to try to kill these bats? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not super healthy right now, you know? Let's just uh, pick up this log. <laughs> Go grab some mushrooms here. Yeah, I'm not even, I'm more than half dead. So, no, let's let's not kill those bats. All right, so it's after 7 in the morning. So, I'm hoping businesses I need to go to are open here. Shall I talk to this guard? What's up, guard? I am Randrio, and I work at Guard Barracks Basement. Sacred Tavern sells the best stew in the area. They grow their own vegetables. Maybe you should talk to Browth. I got to find Browth. I haven't managed to locate Browl yet. <laughs> um, so here and here. No, here and then I got the carpenter. The quest that I did. So. Mining, shopping, weaponsmith, trade. I just let me. Okay, so it is. Wait, hold on just to make sure. Bring the steel pickaxe to Lottie. Okay, there we go. It's Lottie's pickaxe. So where is Lottie? Sabat, Rald, Edeli, Conakar, Lost, Jaden, Sabat again. Luke, Loss again. I'm not seeing Lottie anywhere though. It's Esopina. All right, so let's maybe turn in the other quest then. Oh, this is Lottie here. Perfect. So, Beezing's Cave. We had why she should find it. Okay, so give. Steel pickaxe to Lottie. Give. You found it. She is beautiful, isn't she? She is. Oh, we got 179 gold coins for that. I'm calling that worth. All right, and the other quest is for Lottie too, isn't it? Yeah, chop nine logs for Lottie the Carpenter. I'm pretty sure I have at least nine, don't I? Ooh, 12. I, I do have 9, but thought I had like way more than I needed, and I don't. Give. Uh, can I split? Shift click to split. There we go. Keep the other ones for myself. Give. I completed the round table. Thank you, Lachara. You may keep the axe. Make good use of it. Oh, that's it? It's just the axe? That's kind of disappointing. All right. Um,. Shopping, carpentry. I don't have time for small talks. If you want a piece of furniture, make it yourself. You can use the workbench. Okay. Train. Okay, so we anvil will cost 500 for an anvil. Let's see if there's anything that's free <laughs> to learn. Does not appear there's anything that's free to learn. We can come back later when we have more money. Right now. Ooh, alchemy table. Assume that goes in my house, probably. Logs and nails. So that's not too bad. That's not super expensive. I don't think. All right, so... Did we go in the tailor place yet? I don't think so. What's up, Marie? You have my ear. Ooh, a supply problem. That sounds like a quest. 
Can you bring these linen threads to mine, my colleague in Hard Tundra? Highwayman stole her last supply. Hard Tundra was to the north, I think, right? All right, so linen thread, we got to bring it up. Hard Tundra is to the north, it is. Tailoring, make a piece of clothing is a long process, but I'm sure you will do just fine. First, you need to create threads and yarns using the spinning wheel. Then the loom will transform yarns into fabric rolls. Only then can you tailor new clothes. Train, cotton yarn, linen yarn. Okay, let's train in linen yarn. That takes linen fibers, which I don't believe I have found any of those just yet. Linen thread, linen fibers. Um, linen fabric roll, might as well grab that. It's free, right? All right, trade, what do you have? Ooh, armor. Seven bucks for four defense. Okay, I do have shirt. Do some pants. And I do have some pants. Three defense, two defense, four defense. I mean, it's only seven bucks. Kind of a no-brainer, right? Can I sell you this? Yes. I don't know. I don't really want to sell any of this stuff, though. <laughs> oh, carrot seeds. I do have carrot seeds. Nice. E stingers. Value five, so I can sell them for three. I have 20 of them. And all the food just sells for one. All right. Let's go to the mining place, or the smithing place, which is over here. It's probably stay in the path. Loot, you, you clearly move faster on the path. You'll probably stay on the path. Wilfin, um, train me? No. No, ooh, axe. 50 bucks to learn how to make a better axe. Tempted. All right, um, trade. Ooh, he's got, ooh, nice brawn. Two to five damage. They're expensive, though. <laughs> I do want to try the spear at some point as a weapon. Okay, let's put this on. Oh, yeah, I can't even see my hair anymore. Or my facial hair, or <laughs> much of anything, really. So th we can get 35 for that. Get 30 for this. That's a little money. That's a little extra money. Okay. So I could buy... What do I have for a dagger right now? Copper. Bronze dagger is 105. It's 5 to 9 damage instead of 3 to 6. That's quite a bit more damage. We sell this. 30 and then buy this for 105. Ooh, he's got some shoulder pieces. Ooh, these are expensive though. <laughs> um, copper tools are slightly better than tin. Well, let's see what I can make. Right? Forge. Okay, so let's make some... Wait, do I know how to make bronze? Train. Bronze. Ooh, I need smithing at 25. It costs 100. So I gotta, I gotta grind up on uh, copper or tin. Which makes sense, I guess. Oh, I guess it tells me right here, copper and tin. So we need coal. What do I have more of? I have more copper. Oh, I do have some linen thread. Oh, that's the quest item. I got to bring that up to hard tundra or whatever it's called. Copper. Max. All right, so oh, that goes pretty quick. My smithing skill increased to two to three. Okay, so we get, it's going to take a while to get to 25. And that's fine. Oh, we can steal stuff. I think outside, like the crates and stuff, like I don't think this is stealing. Lockpick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Getting some trouble with that. Ooh, some food. Oh, yeah, more food. Yeah, I'm going to take all the food I can get, man. <laughs> For sure. Yep. That's a lot of different kinds of food. Ooh, an egg. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into, like, cooking and stuff. 
great. There's a lot of different types of food. Ooh, sausage. Like fire defense, berserk, lumberjacking? Like, what's that mean? <laughs> barrel, what's in the barrel? Egg. Oh, uh, chicken. Orange. Can you scroll down here? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, what's up here? Some plants. Oh, there's more bees over there. It looks like some broccoli. Oh, potato seed. I'm stealing potatoes. <laughs> Actually, these ones look like they're done, maybe? Oh, I did the wrong one. Looks like I'm only getting the seeds. No, no, I did get potatoes as well. And this looks like broccoli. And it is broccoli. Oh, it's over here. We got Beezy's Burrow. I'm assuming that this is more bees. Should be able to kill them pretty quick now, but I'm still not full. <laughs> right? I'm still quite a bit away from full. And I have no health potions or anything. Ah, let's go in. What could possibly go wrong? Right? <laughs> Other than me dying. It'd be good to get... I mean, I need more coal. I need a whole... I need a lot of coal. Right? If I'm going to be leveling up my smithing, I'm going to need a ton of coal. I don't want to take any damage. I'm just, I'm, I'm too low to be taking damage right now. Get some more coal. Looks like there's some more tin, more copper. So how, yeah, how's my, how are my skills going? Is there like a mining skill or a gathering skill? Okay, so defense is up to level six. Melee weapons level seven. Got no archery or alchemy, enchanting. Yeah, a lot we don't have. Speech is almost level one. Farming is three. Gathering is six. So I'm assuming gathering is both trees and ores, I would say. I mean, I don't know. But that would be my interpretation. All right, so I want to, I don't really want to fight a bunch of these at the same time. Let's zoom in here. Oh, what's that? What kind of ore is that? Don't want to take any damage, right? Oh, and as soon as I say that, I take damage. <laughs> oh, it's iron. Nice. I mean, that makes sense, right? That would be the next thing. All right, perfect. Yeah, they go down pretty quick with this better weapon. A lot of coal and a lot of ores in here. That's good. So do we have any, do I have any talent points yet? No, I don't even know how I get talent points. I assume if I level this stuff up enough. Okay, so my gathering did go from six to seven, so that answers my question. That it is more silver. Um, mining as well as wood cutting are all are both included in gathering by the sounds of it. All right, let's zoom out and get this coal here and some more coal and some more copper oh yeah i'll be 25 smithing before you know it maybe <laughs> possibly um do i want to gather some oh it looks like i left some copper behind here that's where i came in up there right so let's go over this way oh that's a lot of monsters okay so let's eat um put some more food on the hot bar here wait can we eat no, I can't eat bee stingers. <laughs> uh, I just want to put something that I have more than one of. Like potatoes. I have five potatoes. Okay. In case I, you know, run out of the coconuts and I need to eat suddenly. I want to have something on the hot bar ready to go. Yeah, this dagger hits hard. I did get hit there, though, unfortunately. Probably be picking up these cave mushrooms, too. I mean, it's extra food, right? Food is good. Oh, there's a chest down there. So it's just like one part of this cave had a ton of ore in it. And the rest of the cave doesn't have any, which is weird, but that's fine. Ow. We got stung there. 
All right, what's in the chest? Leather Legion skirt of plant. 15 defense. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. For sure, it's, it's an upgrade. It goes here, I assume. So yeah, replacing two defense with 15 defense. And it's got some water and earth defense as well. All right, nothing much down here. Go up here, kill this guy. Ow, break off. All right, so there's my last coconut eaten. I am out of coconuts. Might as well grab this bee stinger. I'm assuming we'll be able to make some kind of potion out of that eventually. Something, I'll be able to use it for something. Got it, got it soon. Grab these cave mushrooms. Because, yeah, food is incredibly important. I do not want to run out of food at any point in this game. I do want to try the spear. I bet it's way easier to not get hit with the spear. Ow, ow. Oh, my God. Those things, man, they hit hard. Like, I was doing really well. That was like a quarter of my health in, in like, two hits. Oh, that's a lot. Um really do not want to get hit right now. What am I at for health? Oh. Yeah, good, good. You say you don't want to get hit, and then you, like, stop paying attention to the enemies. Ooh, my goodness. I'm at 16. I can take, like, one more hit. Not many left. But, I mean, all it takes is one. Okay, survive that one. And there's more over here, but I do want to mine this stuff as well. Okay, I'm running out potatoes now too, so let's uh, get some cave mushrooms on the hot bar. Oh, on the hot bar, I said. There we go. And you know what? Let's eat the last potato. 32 health. All right, so I can probably take more than one hit now, so I'm feeling... I can definitely take more than one hit. I can probably take three hits now. I'm feeling much better. Oh, there's one hit. <laughs> there's one of the hits gone. Yeah, I would really like to get some alchemy trained up. That I can make some potions, some health potions specifically. I got quite a bit of coal in here, I feel. What coal did I get? 14 coal. Good. That's good. That's... Will allow me to level up my blacksmithing quite a bit. And I think everything else is just stone. So let's get out of here. I didn't die. <laughs> which is ultimately the important thing. Although I am less healthy now than when I came in. But let's grab all these mushrooms on my way out. So I'll be able to eat and get full. I don't think you can go west, no. I think I hit everything. I don't think I missed any branches or anything. Wonder, can I go to town and like chill for the night and like heal up? I wonder if that's something that's possible. Like in the inn? Let's go find out. Let's go see if we can. Um, the inn. Yeah, I'm assuming the inn isn't closed. Everything else is going to be closed right now, right? It, yeah. Well, it's open. But it's more of a tavern than an inn, right? Yeah, I don't think I can sleep here. Ooh, we can learn dough, hamburger, noodles, pie, salad, sandwich, skewer, and soup. Plate and three foods. Logs and three foods. Dough and three foods. So you can make different kinds of salads, different kinds of sandwiches. That's nice. That's a flexible system. I don't, I mean, I don't want to be spending 50 gold on that stuff right now. At some point, though, for sure. Oh, wait, what's this? Flatulent Burglar's Refuge locked. Hmm. That would be stealing. That's what that little hand means. That would be stealing. So, you know what? I'm not going to steal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can, sorry. I'm sorry, Nane. Guilty. I was rummaging. All right, so I want to go up to um, Herd Tundra or whatever it's called there now. But I just realized I've been playing for 40 minutes. 
that's probably a good sign when time flies when I'm playing a game. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you want to see more of this game, let me know in the comments. I am definitely planning to play more. Like I said, this this uh, 40 minutes absolutely flew by. Most importantly, though, folks, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.